We got the media team in there. Where the media Where team? Where the media team? We got content. TV's in the go. We got TV in the go. You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe to the home and your clubhouse TV. Let's get to the content. That's a good one. Yo, check it out. We got WAC 100 reacting to Lil Boosie going to the internet before talking to his daughter. Let's get to the content. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Run the content. In the block. What y'all talking about, man? Boosie. Right. We talking the, about Boosie. Niggas are mad because Boosie won't accept his daughter's sexuality. No, uh, no, 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 no. So what is she, a lesbian? Because, no way. No, and because I think that she is it. It's because he goes to the internet to talk about it, and he's done it a few times, talking talking crazy about her sexuality, and she finally came on and, and kind of, you know, stated her, her side of the story. She's never done this before. She came on, she came on real humble, not crazy, and she's just hurt us that her daddy, instead of coming to her and talking to her about it, he still has yet to come and talk to her about it, oh, but he wrote nah, the internet about it. Nah. Yeah, he filed for that. Been the block. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like, I'm going to accept him and love him for who he is. So, I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha, and he used the word contaminating and putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, this shit make me so mad. I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. He keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said you found out I was gay, that I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B word, when you called me a gay B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you. You and not understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, nigga, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. I feel like I done been through the most with you. And every time I turn around, it's like you bash me. It's like you bash me. And it's like the whole world can go against you, but I haven't won. Since I've been a little girl, I never would go against you. And I think I'm really fed up. And you get to talking about God. Like, I don't know my God. He talking about God and how I grew up. I know my God from Nita. From my mama. My mama sent me scriptures every morning. My mama put me in the church home. I don't recall not one time I'm ever getting up with you and you taking me to, to the Lord's house. I don't I don't never recall it. I didn't I didn't learn that from you. I learned to hustle from you. I learned to not let nobody play with me from you. Even if it's you. You get what I'm saying? And it's and it's crazy because I never downplayed you. 
I never said you was a bad father because you not. You gonna make sure your kid's straight. You always gonna do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. You suck, bro. He not never have, he never not have one sit down with me, myself. Just him and Aviana. And ask me, why you became that way, fat? What what triggered you? What he is it, it never been that. Every answer, every question y'all asking him, and he giving y'all them answers. If I go ask him that, he wouldn't give me an answer. You know what I'm saying? Like I will respect if you if you just say, just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? I can never get that from you. I feel like you just don't be caring. You just don't care about my feelings no more. You just don't care about my heart. Because you're entitled to feel how you feel. You're entitled to your own opinion. Everybody is. Everybody is. And then another thing, I take a lot of backlash from you. I take a lot of backlash from you, Pops. Like, like a lot of people be scared to work with me. A lot of people don't want to work with me. A lot of opportunities, a lot of op opportunities have been missed because you are my father. But that's something I can't change. The world always talking about. I know your dad is so proud of you. He should be so proud of you and all that. Man, I don't remember the last time he told me that. The haters, like that's something I can be used to. Like they don't know me. They 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 can comment on my life and do what they want. That's something that I can't let get me upset. You though. You know, like you know me. You my daddy. You don't you 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 don't continue to to down me. You don't do that. You don't do that, especially if I ain't never do it do it to you. I ain't never done that to you. It's certain things that the world would never know that I'll take to my grave for you, and you know that. You know that. It's certain things that I know, certain conversations that you done told me, certain hurtful words you done told me that, that half of the people that still respect you wouldn't even respect you. Damn. I'm back on the contaminating because why would you even say that? Like, like you make it sound like I'm like ill or something like Like contaminating, if anything, you're contaminating. How about that? You got a whole song about two girls kissing in the back seat. You've been, you've been performing this since I was about three, four years old. So what you talking about? You still perform it on the stage now. If that ain't contaminating, then what is? Spin the block. That ain't right, girlfriend. Yeah, right. Specific yeah. words There's no way he ain't sat down with his daughter, bro. Before coming yeah, to he did, though. She said he did not. His specific words. And she wanted to cry, too, on that daughter, line. Girl, it okay. really hurt her. To the house, uh, because he don't, wanna, he don't want her to contaminate the kids. Hold on. Yeah, Wait, then he called her contaminated. Let me give you some context, Wait, Let me give you some context. You know, I get what quick. he's saying, but I, okay, I get that. Like, I don't want you bringing that around your little yeah. brother, your little sister, brother. I get that. But he still should have went to Herbie before going to the internet, bro. I just want to give you a little bit of context. Right? I think he only went to the internet so the people won't say, "Well, you talked about D ways. What, 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 what about yours?" Right. I think they he's trying to prove something to the people as they if. So I the think. people can't be more important than your daughter. They're that's speaking a, to your daughter. That's a fact. That part, too. That's the fact. Especially and I see what he's saying really by, showed I don't want you bringing that shit to my house. You know, contempt. But I mean, end of the day, they going to know anyway. That's the system. Right. That's what she, I was saying. She, she said <laughs> the brothers come to her more than they come to him because... They be, uh, he be the siblings, yeah. he's the first one. Yeah, she didn't say it like that. She said when he getting on in there, he said they go to more. They get, they get more. Now, on the flip side, fellas, um, you know, ladies, y'all gotta understand one thing, and I told y'all this: men are hypocrites with this kind of shit because we'll call a nigga gay if he were a nigga, but then we'll welcome two women. Right. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. right. No, this real shit. And you have a I, song about it. She brought right. that up. She brought that up. So, no, that's real shit. I, 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 ladies, how long have I been saying that? A 
time. Like niggas is hypocrites with this. Shit. And it's like it's like some niggas was like when um they said you know like Boosie had his son getting like at fifteen. It's like y'all okay with that? But let's put your daughters out there at fifteen so she can have sex for the first time. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't gonna agree to that, right? Yeah, that's that's different. It's not right, real. right, Wack. Bro, that's real shout. And I will say this. I think, I think, because I'm going to be real with you, my son could never bring home another man. I ain't going for it. If my daughter brought a female, I probably wouldn't trip. But the butch part of it is probably where he ain't. That's what's, I don't think I could do butch. Because she like, she look like a <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm surreal. I don't think I but you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, but look, if I'm gonna be real real because wax, what you if can it camouflage like the two regular women? Here. No, listen, what if what if she had it all, right? What if she was an established individual, had a career, was a stand-up person, she was just lo low-key butchy, you know what I mean? Like a low-key dude, but just I low not if, if she was that same person. In feminine form, I probably wouldn't trip. Yeah. See. I'm just on some real. Yeah, I don't yeah, know why. Sure. I don't know why. I'm just on some real. I think maybe because you can camouflage the feminine gay woman. You know what I'm saying? Like when you see the butch brought in there, you niggas is automatically who this with. Automatic. That's a fact. <laughs> You know, I'm just being real. Like, I'm just, like, really sitting here thinking about why this is like this. Why would you not trip if it was this way, but you would trip if it's this way? I think it's the bush fact. If the girl wasn't a butch, I don't think he would trip. How old is the daughter? 16 or something. Yeah, she's in her yeah. 20s. Is she like 20, 23? Yeah, she's grown. Oh, yeah, she's she like 23, 22. That's how we know them studs ain't right. Though. We know them studs will be looking just like a nigga and end up pregnant on them. But 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 listen though, it's not like he don't love her though. He still do everything for her. Man, I thought no, she was a teenager though, man. She yeah, grown. He don't. She uh, is she grown. 20. She a grown ass woman. Okay, but grown ass women still want their daddies and still, you know. Wait, are we talking like, about Toriana? Is Toriana the one talking? No. no. Talk about Ivy. I, oh, Ivy. Okay. No, nah, I'm saying like, yeah, every kid is gonna want their parent, even if you grown as hell. But like, he shouldn't be speaking on his daughter, dragging her name through the mud on interview. She says she didn't make it. We all sense. agree on that. Yeah, yeah, she's 20 years old. But she don't That's really look baby, butch. She don't That's look. Still a baby. She look girly. Don't no, no, she? no. They're talking about her girlfriend, AB. Like, oh, like, like, you oh, know, oh. if it was, okay. if she was, yeah, if she was, yeah. I think, yeah, like, I, I think, I don't know. Like with me, like if that was to happen, if I was dealing with that, if she had a, like a regular feminine, and I, you know, I couldn't really tell. I probably, would trip. but the butch, I'd be like, I probably would trip. So okay. it's just forever gonna be two beautiful women together is fine, but anything other than that is a hard no. I'm for talking the ones about, who are not. I, I don't know, fellas. Like, you know, is it a different look? If it's that, I mean, we don't want it at all, right? But if if it was that in that lane, I would probably be against the butch effect. Man, I'd be against it because I feel like the bush gonna just go back and get to, to get some. The bush gonna do what? No, the bush ain't getting them. Bro, them butchers, man, I'm telling them butchers, she, I know like, some of them do, but the majority of them do like. Hey, I, I got two lesbian <laughs> sisters, bro, and one of them like the little butchers, and every time I see them fake ass niggas, I be looking at them niggas like they niggas because they try to, you know, do the sh but my other little sister, she she like the butch, but she's feminine. You know what I'm saying? But she's aggressive, but she don't dress it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, she don't got to look. Yeah. Yeah. So she, yeah. So I don't know. He's like that. I don't know. I think I could be speculating. I think with Bootsy, he probably don't want it at all. But I think it's the butch factor that's, that might be. 
I agree, cause my stepsister the same. My stepsister, we knew that she, we knew she was a legend. She a cop. She played flag football type of shit. She been living with a, a quote unquote roommate for the past decade. Then they they ran off and got married and they tell nobody. And I I think it's cause like you know it's hard to you know clearly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Clearly, it's too hard when people can't share what they got going on with each other. It's because the surrounding, the family, and the loved ones around them are making it hard for them to do so. The only time, and even like when it comes to the boys, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, if a nigga's son on some bullshit like that, uh, I would totally like not with him ever. The only time I would do something. If somebody was to tell me like the nigga was homeless or something and shit like that, I send somebody over there to put him in the spot, but I, I wouldn't. Boy, that's a hard man. It's hard. Call it what you want to. I'm a main. Shh, listen, my nigga. Look, bro. All right, that's what you doing. Cool, nigga. Don't, don't bring that shit to my house. None of that kind of shit. None of that. I'm cool. Right now, if somebody were to say, "Yo, bro, you know, nigga." Over there, what you mean? Yeah, nigga, downtown. I'm gonna send the homies down there, man. Go get the nigga spot, give him the keys. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. The nigga on dope, now nah, he ain't on dope. He just lost his job. All right, cool. Get his bank account information. That go the spot is paid up for a couple years. Think I'm gonna put 2,500 your account a month, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'll holler at your mama or something. I'm straight. Cause once you go that way, ain't no coming back anyway with me. That's it. Ouch. Why is it a house? Because people expect their kids to populate. Y'all don't want grandkids? You can want grandkids all you want, but your children are the ones who will decide whether they want to bring kids into this world or not. You know what I mean? Man, you, don't got shit bullshit, to do with, you don't got shit to do with that, Garb. If your son don't want to have no kids, nigga, you don't got shit to do with that. That's different. Yeah. That's different. I mean, but, but bro, when people are gay, kids. they still have ways to get pregnant. Like they still, if they really want to have kids with their own DNA and all of that, they Lesbians still make that shit happen. They got in yeah, vitro. they still make that shit happen. You can adopt a kid. Well, all kids in foster care. Let the let the lesbians and gay people adopt this. Why not? They do. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. V. V. Clubhouse CV So as you heard Lil Boosie has been publicly dealing with some family issues concerning his daughter Iviana Hatch or Ivy The tension escalated when Ivy shared social media posts that seems to criticize Boosie for his absence and lack of support. While the specific details are private and sensitive, the situation has garnered public attention due to Boosie's reputation for being outspoken. Boosie indirectly addressed the situation on social media, expressing frustration about family loyalty and betrayal without naming anyone directly, leading many to speculate that his comments were directed at Ivy. It's unclear whether that situation has been resolved or if they've reconciled. However, both parties have publicly expressed their emotions, indicating that the tension remains. And then you go on social media before even speaking to your daughter about the issues at hand. Boosie, your daughter's gay live with it there's nothing wrong with that that's who she is let the grown woman be who she is boosie that's gonna i'd rather my daughter be who she is than let who she is taint our relationship that's never gonna happen i wouldn't want that to happen so boosie let your daughter live let her be who she wants to be you cannot determine who your kids are going to be. They have to determine that for themselves. You can guide, you can assist, but that decision is ultimately up to them. Also, 
please talk to your kids if you're going to run to the internet about the situation. Do not run to the internet first. Let me know what you guys think, man. Y'all think Boosie was right about this? Or do you think he should have talked to his daughter first? The second answer is the obvious one for me. But let me know what you guys think about this content in the comments. Hit that notification bell so you're always up to date when I drop new content. Subscribe to the media team so you're always getting exclusive WAC 100 content. As always, I certainly appreciate y'all.